Athlete, do you want to be able to change direction quicker and beat your opponent to the open space or the ball or wherever you need to be? Hi, my name is Elise, professional athlete and sports performance coach for G2G Sports Academy. And I help athletes take their game to the next level by helping them maximize the potential body, mind, and spirit. So when it comes to the body or athletic performance in changing direction, oftentimes athletes can actually slow themselves down if they don't master the basic techniques when it comes to changing direction. In previous videos, I have tackled different forms of change of direction and movement technique. Today, I'm gonna to be tackling the crossover. Now, the crossover is kind of a mixed, um, you know, there's a lot of different thoughts when it comes to the crossover, whether or not to teach it um, as the crossover step itself, or no, it puts too much torque on the knee, do this instead. So today I'm gonna to show you what the crossover step is, and I'm gonna show you a way of how you can actually work on training the crossover step, because believe it or not, we actually do cross the leg over, and I'll show you just in a second what that means, but doing it in a way to where you're not putting as much torque on the knee. So here's a traditional crossover step. Crossover step, if I'm here and I am seeing a ball, I, or turning to change direction, or if I'm here planting to go this direction, typically you're here powering the knee up and across and come in over. So when you're bringing this knee up across, this leg is pushing, okay? So this can present, okay, yes, you can push off this leg to cover over here. Many athletes can do it safely and automatically, but it can tend to put a little bit of torque on that knee as it pushes off. So when, here's just the traditional crossover step to work on. So here it's gonna be punch, step. So getting that knee up, across, and step. So if you wanna get here, think about punching that knee up across, landing in that solid position. Then when you get better at it, you're gonna be, um, you're gonna be punch, step, plant, okay? Now, to put a little less torque on the knee where you're pushing across, it's kind of a combination of a push open step or a T-step where you're gonna be push open here and then you're crossing the leg over. So this one is a little bit more efficient in saving time and putting less torque on the knee. So it's punch open step, okay? So push open step. So that slight push off and opening here already puts you facing the direction that you wanna go. So that's the difference between the crossover step. Start practicing that on your own. Get comfortable with which, which form of the crossover step feels best for you. Have a good one, guys.